Dear Honorable viewers and my dear students, class 8, how are you? I hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty God. I am also fine. At first, I introduce myself. I am Deepin Chandrasen, Assistant Teacher, Dalgram Biel High School, Kaligan Salamari Hat. Today, I am conducting the class 8. English first paper, unit 3, lesson 4. Okay, dear students, have you seen this picture? Oh, yes. There are two persons are conversation among other, each other. Okay, have you guessed what's the topic? And I would like to uh, show the another picture. What about the picture? And ask two questions. Number one, who is the man lying on the examination table? And number two, who is the man in an apron? Okay. So, dear students, today we will discuss about our dialogue. Learning outcomes. After completing this lesson, you will be able to ask and answer the question, practice sounds, make the sentence with the word to write a dialogue. Okay, dear students, dear students, see to this video. Hello, I'm Pauline. I'm one of the nurses here in the emergency department. Can I ask you some questions about the accident? Sure. Firstly, when did you have the accident? It was this morning. I wanted to go skiing early. I didn't realize that the ground was very icy outside the hotel. Oh dear. How did you injure yourself? It was silly really. I just wasn't paying attention. I slipped on the ice and fell onto my right leg. That must have been very painful. Yes, it sure was. I also hurt my shoulder when I fell. I've got a large bruise there already. I see. Do you have any other injuries? What do you mean? Apart from my leg? Yes. You said that you have a bruise on your shoulder. Do you have bruises anywhere else? No. I only bruised my shoulder. What about cuts or grazes? Oh, yes. I've got a few small cuts on my leg. I cut myself on some sharp stones on the ground. All right. I'll clean the cuts and put on a dressing after you come back from your x-ray. Okay, thanks. The porter will collect you soon to take you for the x-ray. Are you comfortable at the moment? I'm okay except that I need to go to the toilet. Can you tell me where the bathroom is? I'm sorry, but you can't put any weight on your leg until we check whether it's broken or not. You will have to stay in bed until your x-ray has been reviewed. I'm afraid you'll have to use a bedpan until then. Oh, really? I'm not sure I can do that. I know it's difficult, but it's essential that you don't move your leg at all. If your leg is broken, moving it could make the fracture much worse. All right. I suppose that I understand. I'll try using a bit pan now. That's good. I'll get one for you now. Okay, dear students, you will enjoy this conversation. And uh, I would like to show the uh, keyword. What do you see in the picture? What can you see in the picture, dear students? Oh, yes, this is the prescribe. Okay. Can you make a sentence with the word prescribe? Yes, your doctor may prescribe an antibiotic. Okay, dear students, meaning advice and authorize the use of sentence. Someone or uh, meaning advice and authorize the use of someone, especially in writing. This is the prescribe. Okay.
uh, what do you see here what can you see in the picture yes this is the breathing can you make a sentence with the word breathing his breathing was shallow meaning what is the meaning breathing the act of taking air into our lungs what can you see in the picture can you make a sentence with the word difficulty this word is difficulty can you make a sentence with the word difficulty there is a practical difficulty what's the meaning difficulty maybe a state or condition of being difficult okay what can you see in the picture can you make a sentence with severe this word is severe okay dear students she is having severe chest pain and meaning extreme or difficult individual verb make three sentences by the following three words a difficulty b breathing c severe okay dear students listen to the audio carefully and act up this dialogue robi's father mr zohir ali is not well he has difficulty speaking he is now at the doctor's clinic good evening doctor good evening how is your father today not at all well he has difficulty breathing as before he is having severe chest pain again i see mr ali could you lie down on the examination table please okay let's see do you feel any pain here oo and here ouch all right i am prescribing a medicine take one tablet in the morning and another at night before meals i also advise you to have a chest x-ray immediately if possible show me the x-ray report today in the evening okay okay doctor thank you you are welcome okay dear students have you enjoyed i may have you enjoyed this answer the following questions number 1 who are talking in the dialogue number 2 why does the dialogue take place number 3 what is zohir ali's problems number 4 why can't zohir ali tell the doctor about his problems number 5 what does the doctor prob problem uh, number 5 what does the doctor prescribe him Rubis father Mr Zohir Ali is not well he has difficulty speaking he is now at the doctor's clinic good evening doctor good evening how is your father today not at well he was difficult breathing as before he is having severe chest pain again i see mr ali could you lie lie down on the examination table please Okay let's see do you feel any pain here any here aus all right i am prescribing a medicine take one tablet in the morning and another at night before meal i also advise you to have a chest x-ray immediately if possible show me the x-ray report today in the evening okay okay doctor thank you you are welcome evaluation okay dear students this time is evaluation i write to the meaning of the following words a describe b breathing c difficulty d severe and finally i would like to uh, give you the homework suppose you visited a doctor for a stomach pain write an imaginary dialogue between you and the doctor 
okay okay dear students see you in the next class okay thank you very much thank you everybody okay thank you